and welcome back to Map the Maves. So this week, we're going to talk about the next life skill from Stress Free for Good, uh, which is appreciate yourself. So this one is going to be hard for some people and easy for others. Um, essentially, the thinking is this, that we can be quite hard on ourselves. And if you think about some of the self-talk that you use with yourself um, about perceived um, mistakes or limitations or things you got wrong or screwed up or we should go back and change, we can be pretty tough on ourselves, much harder on ourselves and much more judgmental than we would ever be with a friend. And I would hope that we would all care for ourselves at least as much as we would care for a friend. So the purpose of this is to help you appreciate the fact that you are a good person. You are a kind person. You do deserve to be appreciated. And even if you don't have people in your life who are doing that, and it can very much feel like that sometimes, uh, you can do this for yourself. So how do we do it? At the end of the day, you again, as with everything, start thinking about one or two things that you did during the day that were good or kind or helpful to somebody else. They don't have to be big things. Um, they can be small things. The, the key, I guess, as you probably noticed for a lot of these life skills, is actually being more conscious, more thoughtful about things that are going on. And so even noticing small things that you have done for others is a real positive, that it is a way of acknowledging ourselves when maybe others haven't acknowledged us, but also reminding ourselves that we are kind, that we made positive choices today, that we did something good. Um, and thinking about that is a way of also understanding that you deserve, you deserve to be appreciated for those things, even if the only person who maybe knows that you did them or appreciates them is yourself. Because sometimes we can stay, particularly if you are um, separating or divorcing, it can seem as if everything is negative, that whatever you do, you're criticized by your former partner. Um, you know, maybe it sounds like your lawyer is tough on you or your counselor is demanding or even your mediator is mean to you. Um, it can be really helpful to have a voice that is positive, that acknowledges you, acknowledges the things that you've done. So try and just think at the end of the day, what are the one or two small, maybe big, who knows, positive, kind things that I decided I made a choice, a conscious choice today to do this kind, this positive thing. And then appreciate that you made that choice, that instead of doing the easy thing or ignoring it or not paying attention, you actually made a positive choice to do something kind for someone else. I know, it's not easy. Um, again, there's no magic wands, but I think maybe what you're starting to sense is that using some of these practices in combination, if you can do all 10, fantastic. But if you can use some of these skills in combination, you start providing yourself with the chance to be calm, to be focused, to reduce your stress, which A, has lots of um, health implications, but also from my perspective as a mediator, makes you much better equipped to deal with the challenges that you'll face when you're mediating. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one with you for this week. Give it a go. Appreciate yourself. and. I'll see you next time. Take care.